Hey guys, Blipkicks here, and welcome to another episode of Tech World 2. Well, mostly Tech World 2, anyway. So very excited about this episode. I'm moving so slow. I'm going to have to be careful. I'm going to knock my door in. This episode, we are going to... I've been hard at work down in the basement while I've been sick. Uh, got a bunch of redecorating done, so I want to show that to you guys. Let you see what you, see what you think about it. And then we'll make some use of our Tinker Smeltery that we built last con last episode. And then we'll explore the island a little bit. I want to I show you guys something. So, hope you enjoy the episode. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. I always like to see what you guys think of things. And here we go. Okay, so here we are back at our Tinker Smeltery that is working good. You might notice I got rid of the lever. I learned that I was being completely dumb and you don't have to flick a lever or anything else like that. All you have to do is right click your hand onto the spout and out things come. But what we're gonna do here is actually make use of this for the very first time for real and we're gonna make ourselves an iron or metal uh, weapon here. So, I've already pre-made up the tool rod and the guard and the blade that we'll need to make the sword. But what we have to do is we have to make casts out of this stuff first. And so, you have two options for metals to make the casts. You can do either this molten aluminum brass, uh, which you make out of just aluminum and copper ores that you can find. Or you can use gold. Um, I decided to use the aluminum and copper ingots because I had a pretty good supply of those and not a whole lot of gold so I went ahead and used those up and so once we do these casts here this is how it's supposed to work I think we just lay that in the table and then you right click on the noozle and it'll come up and there we go and we have the cast and so we can take this cast now and we'll get our tool rod back and then we'll put the guard in and we'll do the same thing. Oh, it's nice how fast that is. So we just we have our cast here. Grab this guy back, put the blade in, do the same thing. And I'm sorry if my voice sounds really bad. I've had a cold and uh, got sick, so it wasn't a whole lot of fun. Um, we'll take that and we'll go here. And so now we take these and we swap them out. And let's try and do this. Now, I don't know how to control what comes out here. Now, I guess I'd, I did want to make it out of brass because according to, according to our uh, materials in you, brass has... Whoops, went too far. Oh, that's bronze, not brass. Oh, a bit better than iron. How do we make... How do we make bronze. So before I go out and grab the stuff for the copper and the tin that we're going to use to make that, um, I guess while we're doing that I can show you what I've been up to in the meantime. I knocked out all these walls. I need to do some decorating. We might do that this episode. But I've been hard at work when I couldn't talk here in the basement and so it has taken on a whole new shape. Um, we'll come back. I'll talk talk just a little bit more about the design and stuff in here once we get our once we get our ores let's get our ores um, I've got a ton of copper um, and the other thing was tin um, and did it tell us what we had to mix it in sure it did I think it was three copper and one tin so I can make a could actually make a lot of this maybe we'll do 10 and 30 that, that could make sense okay so, and since it takes a while for this stuff to smelt, let me grab a bucket and refuel here a little bit. Grab, just put that there. And there we go. Get plenty of stuff going on in there. And then we'll take, we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll just. We'll put some copper in there while we're at it. Okay, so we'll wait for that to smelt. Let me go show you a little bit more about the basement here. So, let me walk up. And we still haven't done a whole lot up here. Um, 
but I decided to make the steps using the same fur logs so we keep that natural resource material look. Um, this top ones are just chiseled uh, cobblestone in the big tile method. Um, and I had been using limestone up here, um, limestone colored carpenter's blocks. Yeah, there we go. Tell you that it's limestone. And I took that and chiseled it, and it darkens it up a bit, but I really like what you're able to do with the limestone and then the panels. So that's what I decided to use the floors for. All the rest of this is just chiseled uh, cobblestone. And then we got some micro blocks and some leaves. And what I was going for was just kind of a uh, like a construction that was still in good shape, but you could tell that it's kind of weathered the years. It's been down here for a while, so you have some of these little dirt blocks and like some green leafage growing in the background. Um, I also kind of went for a little bit of form over function right here where uh, this pillar comes down and it, it's the same pillar that's sitting upstairs to support everything but it's unfortunately right in front of these boxes. Now would anybody actually do that? I, I don't know. I doubt it. I've seen enough people put desks in front of outlet plugs though that I don't know, maybe it is realistic. Um, built a little chandelier up at the top. I decided to leave the ceiling just kind of the way I found it other than cutting out this um, indentation up in the top to give, make it feel a little bit more open um, but yeah so just really I mean other than chiseling I mean the, it's the chiseled blocks that give it so much variety there's really only two or three block types here you got limestone wood uh, cobble and some leaves and then just using the chisel and the uh, micro blocks, able to give it a really, really varied look that I like a lot. So, and then with the floor, I decided, for one reason or another, for better or for worse, to make um, like a radiating rings pattern around that emanated from the crafting tables, since that's maybe the focus here. Um, so it just kind of comes out that way and then it comes out here and then I did light panels here and dark panels over here just to kinda of change the room up a little bit and I think I like it I like I like the way that this came out just these micro blocks here that you know maybe they're tree roots coming in from the top because this is actually outside outside the house um, but once you go up up to the top level um, or maybe they're support beams that keep everything falling down on top of us I'm not real sure um, then that little bit of grass in the background kind of peeks out and uh, the little chandelier I think it works pretty well so I don't know what do you guys what do you guys think let me know what you think of the design let me know what you think about the block choice and the way it all the way it all comes together and but this is going to be this is going to be the last vestige of uh, this kind of design choice kind of the ratty busted up kind of thing um, moving back into the smeltery, which is going to be the, the key to moving forward and getting uh, getting our technology moving forward. We've got an iron block, and then you can chisel these iron blocks, and you can turn them into gears. Um, there's all kinds of choices, but I kind of like that gear, so I just hit it up in the top just a little bit. And I think I'm going to turn this door into iron instead of having it be wood. Um, and then things are going to get a bit more polished. A bit more polished, a bit more metallic and mechanical and finished as we head back here oh boy there we go so we still got lots of tin still got copper um, somewhere in here okay and there's our bronze down at the bottom so we used up all of our tin ore and so we're gonna put in a bunch more of this I probably talked too long um, but that's okay we got plenty of bronze to make stuff with so let's do that so here we go, sword blade cast, and bronze. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Okay, cool. What did that say? Oh, reinforced, attack one heart, durability 350. I like it. All right, so let's do a tool rod cast here. We're going to make the handle. We're going to make the handle out of bronze as well. Oh, there we go. I'll grab that. 
So that's a handle, a good handle modifier. And then I think just for the sake of, um, did that wrong. Just for the sake of color variety on it, I'm going to change it up and we're just going to make it iron. We're just going to make the guard out of iron because I feel like it. There we go. All right. Now, I should put a chest. I should put a chest here to hold these because I don't want to have to run back and forth all the time. So we'll make a couple of chests while we're back there to put them there. Da, 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 da. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was, that was almost really bad. We were going to, we were making a longsword. Here we go. Oh, man. And I have not thought of a name for this longsword. There we go. Oh, it doesn't look half bad. Let's take a look at our stats here. 454 durability. Effective durability, 499. Stonebound modifier. Attack, 3.5 hearts. Nice. And we can put three modifiers on it. So that'll be good. And then we'll, we'll get some modifiers on there. So what do we want to call this one? Um, uh, you know, I can rename this at any point in time. So I think for now we're just going to call it. We're going to call it Longsword. Longsword. And that, that's going to have to replace... Oh, June is still plus 8. Wow. But it's probably a whole lot faster than June is. So you get that mining fatigue with the stone one. Oh, yeah. That builds up a... Oh, wow. That's its, that's its deal, is you can hold that down and then... Whoa, we lunge forward and <laughs> pull all of our wood out. Whoops. That's awkward. Iron handguard reinforced. What? Oh no. Oh, whoops. Oh, I didn't. I used the stone handguard instead of the iron one. Can I fix that? Can I deconstruct it? Oh, I can't believe I did that. Do we have to go remake this? I think we have to go remake this. Okay. Well, I'm going to go remake that. Put our cast back. Put our stupid sword back. Oh, here. Let me show you a little something that I learned about Tinker Tools. We'll see if this actually is, is true of this one. If not, oh well. Um, I went to go get rid of one that I didn't think that I needed anymore. And they will not burn in fire. You can't get rid of them. Nope. So, go figure. I have no idea how to deconstruct a tinker tool at this point. And you know what? I think that this is going to be the last episode where we do any kind of focus on tinker tools. I've been, We've been stuck in this cabin, making tools, trying to get things up and running for a little bit too long. And tell the truth, even I'm starting to get a little bored with tinker tools. So, let's be done with that. We've talked about, we've talked about stuff going on in here. Oh, you can't block! I wonder if that's part of the deal, is you can't block with this. Hmm. I wonder if that's going to be problematic. Okay, guys, so I went and looked at the length on that last little segment of video, and it was a little bit longer than I thought, so instead of jumping into something else big, uh, I figured we're going to go ahead and just take our long sword and run it through some modifiers, since we haven't done any of that on camera here. So... For, for weapons, I went through the book, and outside of sharpness, which unfortunately, since we haven't been through the nether, we can't get at right now, um, there's a couple of things we can add to make this even better. So we can add uh, a piston to add knockback. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. So that's going to add, oh, oh, knockback 1 out of 10. So will that stack if we add, so that took up a modifier slot, but... Let's well let's make sure that we can get let's make sure we can get this on here. Okay. So now we have we got one slot left. 18 out of 450. <clears throat> so let's see. Now if I add another if I was gonna add another piston onto there. Well we can always add we can add more modifier slots lately later. So let's keep going here. 27 36, so each of these adds 9. That's 9 out of 450. 
9 by 5 so it would have to be... Oh man, it would take 50 blocks to completely max this out, so we're not even going to come close. I can use, use all my lapis and we won't even come close. 50 blocks. That's huge. Okay. Well, 126. Not bad. And so then to ans answer the question of... Uh, let's see. We need one of those. Need one of a... Alright, we're going to make another piston and see what happens. If we add some more knockback onto that. There we go. Come over here. Uh, let's compress cobblestone. There we go. Whoops. Alright, let's add this onto here. Hopefully this doesn't take up our last modifier slot. We'll find out. Okay, so this is going to give us two out of one, and we'll have one remaining. Okay. So you can get it all the way up to... So we could max that out. Okay, cool. Well, let's go give let's go give this new bad boy a try. Let's go out. We'll give this guy a try here. Oh, look at it. It looks it looks funny. Let's take a look at it here. Oh yeah, it almost looks kind of looks like a uh, condensed fishing rod actually. That's kind of funny. And it's nighttime. All right, so out we go. Try to not die. There's been so many bad guys out here. Or at least they're always around. Oh, hello. Let's see how we do here. Uh, a little knockback. Well, that's not bad. Two hits. Be great to be able to one-shot them. But I haven't harvested those potatoes in such a long time. And uh, oh, and of course the sun's coming up. Well, you know what? With the sun coming up and this going on, let me show you guys something. And I think I think the next episode is going to be a bit of an adventure episode. So, I want to show this to you guys. You may have seen a little funny funny spot on the map. And, in fact, I think I've seen this off in the distance a little bit. But, guys, we have a problem. We have a big problem. The other day I was coming along through here and clearing out trees, trying to think of how I could create a nice little path going through all this area. And I was coming up through here and... Come up over this ridge. Here's the ravine that we see all the time. We come down here, do a lot of work. So we're gonna build we're gonna build like a little bridge that goes across this. But boy, you come down. Oh, more ravine. Not where we want her to go. Oh, I'm going completely the wrong direction. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go this way. go up. Yeah, you can start to see it now. Yeah, you can see it and yeah, it's it's bad. It's bad and it's growing. This stuff is called stuff is called the taint. Yeah. Fibrous taint. And I'm not entirely certain it whoa! Ah! Huh? What the heck is hitting me? Stop! 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 Oh, is that a thing? Literally, that is a thing. That hurts us. Floaty particles. Oh my... Oh, seriously? Can we hit it? Taint swarm. Oh, we can hit it at least. Whew. Okay. So yeah, yeah. This is this is bad, guys. This is bad. This is really bad. Oh, I see another one of those things over there. And we need to figure out how we are gonna get rid of that, because from what I understand, it spreads, and eventually would consume everything even leading up into our base. And I really, really, really... I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't think you guys want that. Let's uh, let's jump up here. Quick little run. I know that there's a, there's a better view of it. Maybe if I come up over here. Ho, 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 yeah. Yeah, bad, bad news. 
Yeah, it's infecting the water, and it's definitely spreading. It was uh, it was back there the last time I saw it. So we're gonna have to do something about this, and I don't I don't really know what yet. Um, but that I think is gonna be our next episode, is we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do about this taint and start taking care of it. Look at that! It takes over the trees. It takes over everything and that is that's just bad stuff i do not want that close close to our base so we're going to get rid of that so there you have it so there we go guys thanks for sticking out this episode i really appreciate it uh, if you have any thoughts on the on how to take care of the taint what you think about the basement uh, anything you know about tinker tools you want to share any questions things you want to see me do decorating ideas for the smeltery area anything like that feel free please leave them leave those messages in the comments uh, feel free to leave a like if you like what you see uh, helps helps me know what you guys what you guys are entertained by and it uh, it's pretty encouraging as well. So that's all we've got for today. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!